All right, this is the second journal in my Pink Peony collection. This one is named Peyton. She is made with a beautiful baby's breath velvet bundle from Sheila Gingrich at Boho Daydreams. And I've used pink stitching throughout this whole series. This is a pink dresser scarf wrap that I have created and it's totally removable and then you can just do whatever you would like with the journal keep it on or take it off and then just use your journal like so I'll just show you a close-up of it this is a vintage beautiful vintage applique that I got it just so happened to coordinate with two other ones that I had purchase but this one is true vintage and it's got the gold stitching around the outsides absolutely love it and then I've just used doilies little tiny doilies on the inside so it's pretty no matter which way you look at it and then of course I've stitched the sorry silk ribbons in between so it's very secure and there's the little wrap bonnet this is a booklet that I've created just using some of the papers and vintage um, notebook paper as well as some avocado dyed rose gold metallic uh, splattered paper and some stamping of peonies and some pretty little beads at the bottom that just goes on the top or you can use it for a journal on the go, a little purse size. I've got the vintage buttons hand stitched to the spine, which is my thing. I really enjoy doing that. And I love using the bigger buttons. I just love the character that they add to your journal. Gorgeous velvet. Now the story behind this cover is this was created at the retreat in Vermont. I was leading the class on how to create a velvet covered journal and Sheila was my assistant what an honor I know it was crazy she's the one who actually taught me how to do use these products and she ended up uh, helping me which was amazing I just felt so relaxed and calmed by her being with me so she actually adhered this cover and I thought I'm gonna use it because it's so perfect for this collection so this has both of us our handwork in it, which makes it pretty special for whoever is going to be the new recipient of it. I've got some beautiful embellished trim that is also part of Sheila's um, items that she has available for us. I usually buy them in a set, like I'll say, can you do a bunch of blush colored or whatever, or she will have them available. And then um, if you watch her YouTube videos, you can just request whatever she's got from whatever she's got available. These two little booklets are inside. This is just artisan paper with some vintage lace and a beautiful vintage lady image. This little booklet has some sweet little beads on the side, some pink lace, a vintage uh, antique doily actually. I got a whole set of antique French uh, textiles from a, a lady a little bulb pin and a vintage button. And then it's just got some random papers in it and I've stamped a small peony inside. I've just used a uh, scrapbook paper on the inside here. It is uh, just lined blank ledger paper. So that's it on the inside. And I'm just gonna flip through the pages here. We've already done this before and I have shared all my supplies and sources that I was able to. The digitals are from hmm, Sweet Vintage Prints, if you're interested, and they're called Pink Peonies. So very pretty. A little booklet. I've just rubbed some wax, different colors of wax, over the embossed, dry embossed image there. Beautiful pink vintage lace on the side applique lace, small envelope, and a journaling card. 
and a larger journaling card. Some stamping, avocado dyed paper, some text paper, digitals, and then I've stamped on the back of these with the peony stamps. This is a little tuck spot if you would like to put something in there. And one of the sweet pea tags that I made using a technique that Sheila taught us at the Vermont retreat that we just had in April. Beautiful gold bling trim, some gold embossed stamping, some decoupage, and this beautiful chiffon ribbon topper. Another tag that I've got. If you've seen the first video, these all have the same, virtually the same items in it. It's just separate, slightly different pictures. This is part of the velvet bundle that you get. This is some of the half inch trim. It's just so beautiful. I've made a tiny tag out of a um, Edith Holden book page and a little blingy dangle and some fiber tag topper vellum paper, vintage music paper, vintage rose-colored lace, and one of the um, fabric tags that I've made using some of Sheila's embroidered trim. This is with the wider pieces, and just put a swatch tag topper on it. Some Bible page, some vintage Shakespeare book page. I've got a purple crocheted uh, flower from a doily and then the seam binding is the same color it's part of the velvet bundle that you get it's all custom dyed together there is a fussy cut flower and this beautiful insert lace on the side some stamping a ruffle that i've made out of some beautiful vintage fabric and on this side we've got a an um, envelope and a vintage postcard these are actually antique. They are all over 100 years old. I got a whole set of them. They're amazing. They're just so pretty. And then they're in really good shape too. It's a beautiful lace trim on the side. This was either the start of the roll and I guess you can't see that there, sorry. There we go. I just decided to leave it because I like that floppiness. If you don't like it, you can just cut around it. Easy peasy. A tall tag with some stamping on the corner and this little belly band. Some vintage Emily Dixon, some poetry, some vintage uh, sheet music. And then I have included a quarter of the large handkerchief. That's very sheer, very, very filmy. I just absolutely love it. The image is so beautiful. Isn't that so, so pretty? And then the dangles on the center of this journal are a little bit more peachy colored. I still think they go with the whole pink theme. I just absolutely love them. Very, very pretty. A small belly band area here. You can put a sentiment there if you would like. Beautiful custom dyed lace in rose color by Susie avocado paper, another beautiful ruffle. This is silk and it is in a dusty rose color. This is a double or a triple pocket that I've made on this side. A tiny little booklet and a fussy cut flower and a tall tag that I have stamped a peony on there. Fussy cut flower. I just love those. Love using them. Some beautiful lace. This I have bought in the past from oh Harrison. What's Renee Bouquets? Renee Harrison. And I've also got it from Tattered Dreams. I think it is. Can't remember exactly where I got it from, but it's it's. Um, it is a modern lace, but it's beautiful. It comes very wide, and then I just cut it up. Some collaging here on the side, and this beautiful 
cross-stitched um, textile is cut from a piece of the edge of a pillowcase. Another sweet pea tag stamped with white embossing ink. Got some napkin there and some of Sheila's beautiful gold bling. I didn't do any gold flake on these tags. Um, I don't know, I just decided not to. I've got my little bits in here that I've got and you can just add them to the edge of your um, collaged pieces, but I just chose not to do it on these. And another tag that came from the lace masterboard that we created in Vermont. And then I just stitched around them, backed it with heavier weight cardstock. Some beautiful vintage lace that I just love. Some vintage music paper. And then a beautiful uh, custom dyed applique on this side from Susie. I guess I should get these out of the way so they're not distracting. And it's just a little booklet made out of the medium sized tags. And then the vellum paper, another ruffle made out of vintage fabric. And I sew them onto paper and then just adhere them onto the pages. So I really love that effect. Gives it that shabby pink, shabby look. And here is a tall tag that I've added, just using very simple uh, cardstock that I have printed the digital papers onto and another image punched it at the bottom with a paper edger and a fussy cup flower small side tag that I've used with or created using Edith Holden book page and then backed it onto parchment paper just punched the slot size uh, insert to, for the seam binding and added some beautiful pink vintage shank buttons. I've done some stamping up there and then I have a an embellished paper clip. I just use fussy cut flowers and do the reverse image and adhere them back to back so they make a really sweet little embellishment. And some more avocado paper, another tag that I created for this collection using vintage piano paper some stamp, oh, that's not stamping. What I do is I just print that out with certain fonts from my computer and then um, that is a die cut, Sizzix die cut and just some scrap pieces of digital papers from other projects and the chiffon ribbon tag topper. A tiny envelope here with a uh, journaling card, some beautiful vintage pink and white scalloped edge lace and a floating pocket tag with a small booklet for extra space. This can go anywhere in your journal or even use it as a, a card or a tag for a gift. Whatever you'd like to do with some stamping, this beautiful vintage lace on the edge and another one of these tall bookboard tags that I've created just using some vintage elements and crocheted applique, the ruffle of the ticking fabric, some German book page, and a sweet little girl digital image. And it just gets tucked into here to keep it in place. So this one is called Peyton. And that's the name I almost gave my third daughter. I didn't win again, but that's all right. I won by getting three daughters, the beautiful vintage buttons, as I said, and all of the cascading lace on the side. So this is her. She is complete and ready to go to her new home. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you're inspired to try creating something similar yourself and give these a go. They, they're they just very simple to make and I just think they're so beautiful. It's a great way to use up some of these odd pieces of vintage textiles that we find along the way. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching.